Okay, let's have a look. Determine the horizontal and vertical component of reaction on the beam caused by the pin. Oh, it's a pin joint. And a rocker at A. Determine the horizontal and vertical component of reaction. So basically, that's the support reaction. So at A, let us see at A. It's, it's a 2D, so every support has got three degree of freedom. So it's a rocker, so it can move in this direction. I can lift it, yes, nothing is stopping me from that. But if I want to push it downward, it will not go down because I've got a support of the wall here. So I do know my reaction force is in the vertically upwards direction. So I know R1, my reaction force. Now let's look at B. The, the, the beam can rotate, yes, it's pivoted, so free to rotate, that's a freedom. Can I move the, the, the pivot in up-down direction? No, I cannot. So therefore, I will have a reaction force R2 and a reaction force R3. And then I've got my two active forces, here, here, and here. So along by putting the dimensions, I can draw my free boy diagram and come something like this. So you can clearly see for the A, it's a rocker. And for the pin B, sorry, for the pin B, because it's pivoted, then I've got my, my active forces. So gentlemen, do the, uh, apply the equation of equilibrium and find me the value of AY, BY, and BX, please. Sir, I have a question. Yes. Sir, how will the body move in horizontal direction at point A and not in point B? Because it's a rigid body, so if it tends to move on A, it should move on B too. So you're saying that if the, our body is allowed to move horizontally, it's fixed at B. So at C, uh, why am you not getting a reaction? In her, for your reaction support in the horizontal direction at A. Am I right? Yes, sir. Okay, let me give you an example. Let me think of an example. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yes, yes, that's a good one. Okay. Now, watch. I have got. Uh, let me go back. I've got this beam. Uh, I want. I, I disconnect this part. I disconnect this part. So can I move it in this direction? Yes. Nothing is stopping me, okay? Or, or let me point this way. Uh, uh, what's the right way? Um, Yes, okay. Look at thermal expansion of this rod, thermal expansion. It will expand, this end is fixed. So will it expand in this direction? Is it free to expand in that direction? Yes, sir. Am I right? Okay, now when it, when it expands in this direction, will there be any reaction force at point B in, that, in the opposite direction? Will there be any reaction force? No, sir. No. So it is free to move horizontally. The best way is you disconnect, you disconnect this one, and then you look at this one only. Remember, if, if, you, if, if you, want to draw the free body diagram of this pin. So let us look at the pin, rocker. So what's the rocker? That's my rocker. I'm drawing the free body diagram of the rocker. 
okay is a rocker now we know it is free to move in this direction i'm drawing the free body diagram of the rocker only okay we know it is free to rotate in this direction i can lift the rocker but i cannot move it downward so definitely for the rocker i will have a downward i will have an upward reactive force is that clear yes sir now i go back and draw the fiber diagram of this beam i have split the, the component into three and when i do the analysis on the beam my beam is here so my beam will get a reaction force in the opposite direction which is equal to this one is that clear yes so then when do this uh, uh, find the forces for me that's a y b y and b x please What's the answer? Can you give me the answer for A Y? Sir, B Y is equals to two hundred newtons. B X is four twenty. B X is four twenty four point two, and A Y is five twenty four point two six. A Y is a bit different. You getting B X? Is that your your A Y is wrong? I guess. Have a look. Yes, So, looking at this, okay, sir. Okay. So, okay. Sir, can we take uh, any point as the point of rotation in this case? Point of if, rotation. Yes, sir. For calculating the moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to use common sense. Look, look here. If I do some of all the forces along. Uh, uh y axis so y axis look i've got this unknown and this no i've got this one reading already given to me uh so i will have yes i've got this and this unknown okay yes sir so if if i start by taking moment at point b if i take moment at point b i will get rid of 
sorry, I'll get rid of those two unknowns. Am I right? Yes, sir. So the only unknown left is A, A Y. So I can easily get my answer out if I take moment at B. So once I've got this, the rest is easy. So remember, when you start solving the problem, plan it first. See which what's the, what's the easiest way out. Don't just go directly with some of all the first long acts you do first, and then it's a habit that you do then some of all the first long Y, and then you go for the moment. Don't do that. Look at the point where you've got maximum unknown. You can take a moment at that point. So remember, if there are maximum unknown at one point, take a moment there. Then you'll be able to find the unknown in the other direction. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Thank you.